Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're experiencing low Wi-Fi signal strength on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're having an issue, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be if you're at home, try and see if you can move closer to your router and see if it's you know acting out of the ordinary. If you just set up your computer for the first time and you have low Wi-Fi signal, you may have an issue with your location compared to the router, and you may want to consider getting a Wi-Fi booster as well, or paying for an upgraded internet service plan through your internet service provider, which is something that this tutorial, you know, obviously will not cover. But if you were experiencing, you know, pretty good internet, and all of a sudden, you know, in the last day or two, you've started having issues, that's what this tutorial is more geared towards. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start off by opening up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best result, check a medical troubleshoot settings, go ahead and open that up. On the right side, select other troubleshooters, and then you want to go down underneath other, and you want to select the network adapter troubleshooter, so select the run button. And again, go ahead and follow along with the on-screen prompts that are applicable in your particular case here. And then hopefully that would have resolved the issue. If you're still having a problem, a couple more things we're going to go through here as well. Close out of here. Open up the search menu once again. Type in device manager. Best result, device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Expand the network adapter section, so double click on it. And then right click on whatever your wireless network adapter is listed under here and you would right click on it and select update driver select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer select the one that's applicable for your device otherwise if this is a generic driver you can select that one I usually recommend the more specific one for your hardware so you can see there's only one in our case anyway so not really much to choose from here go ahead and select next and then you will select close once it updates close out of here also, would suggest you open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best Manage comes back with Command Prompt. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig, space, forward slash, flush, DNS. Flush, DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit Enter on your keyboard should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed to DNS resolver cache next command I want you guys to type in is NETSH space WINSOCK W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset exactly how you see it on my screen go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard it should say successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset go ahead and close out of here and restart your device And hopefully this was able to help assist you in your situation. One final thing you can try here as well, if you just want to reset your network settings back to default, if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials once your computer restarts. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So if, if you don't know where your username and password is for your router, it should actually be on the router itself on a little sticker, generally speaking. That's usually where it is on the back of the router. So anyway, open up a search menu. Type in settings, best result, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left side. And then on the right side, scroll down and select advanced network settings. Select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. And go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. You will be signed out within five minutes. So I would suggest just closing out of everything and manually restarting your device.
and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved and you should be good to go. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do apologize if I able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.